To remove the chuck, you must locate the area between the fourth and fifth rib, marking that with your knife, then with the handsaw, slide through the vertebrae between that fourth and fifth rib. Now that we've cut through the bone, slice halfway through, hitting the bowler blade at the outer edge of the carcass, then locate the seam between the chuck and the blade with your knife. You'll be able to gently pull that away a bit. Once you've been able to open that up a bit, using your hip, just slice through the membrane, releasing the chuck. Then from the top point in there, slice around the bowler, removing the chuck. To bone out the chuck, this process is a little bit more difficult. To start with, I have to run my knife around the hills and valleys on either side of the chuck bone. You'll find there's a lot of little ridges as you follow the bone along. We've removed one side, then gently, carefully run your knife around the other side of the neck bone, turn the chuck around, then run your knife between the chuck and the feather bone to release the meat from that area. Once you've marked all the way around the neck bones, roll the chuck over, then holding your knife hard against the rib bones, slice through, removing the meat. Once you've removed the meat off the rib bones, roll the chuck over, then following the contours of the neck bone, remove the meat. This section of the neck has a lot of hills and valleys as well. Just following up and down. Finally, removing the bone. There's your boneless chuck. The chuck is the most difficult primal to bone out and the mark of good butchery is to remove as much meat as possible. With the bone out, all I have to do now is remove the paddy whack then square up the sides of the chuck, removing any excess meat, and that will give me my square cut chuck.